everybody. Bonjour tout le monde. C'est Monsieur Steve, votre professeur à la maison, your teacher at home. Um, today's lesson is about pizza. P-I-Z-Z-A, everyone's favorite food. Uh, not really, but also really. Uh, before we get started, thanks for coming. Uh, I would love it if you could give me a big thumbs up. Uh, and maybe you could subscribe to my page by hitting the button below. Uh, it would really help me out. Uh, okay, so today we're talking about da -da -da -da, fractions. What are fractions? Fractions are everywhere. You probably experience them every day. Uh, you just don't even know it. Like, for example, how many of you have ever had to share a pizza? Um, that's fractions. Fractions is related to division. Uh, in the sense that if you have something that's whole and you need to share it with your friends or your family, you gotta cut it up into pieces. And we all know what it's like when you see someone else's piece, you're like, that's not fair, that's way bigger than mine. Um, so those pieces aren't equal and that's not a fraction. A fraction is when every piece is the same. So I got this pizza here. Let's imagine that I have a friend uh, to my side. Um, am I gonna cut my pizza and give my friend that piece and I get to keep this piece? No, that's not fair. I could do that, but that wouldn't be a fraction. So we have a whole and I'm gonna divide it in two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the perfect middle line and I'm gonna cut it so that we have two equal sides. So this is a half and this is a half and together two halves make a, you got it, a whole. Now, we can represent them in numbers as well. So we have one whole that we've cut into two pieces. There are two possible pieces, but we have just one. That would be one over two. The number on top is the numerator and the number on the bottom is the denominator. So the denominator is the number of pieces you can have out of the whole and the numerator is the one piece that's been colored in or you're focusing on. So right now I have one out of two pieces. So that's a half. Are you with me? I hope so. Now let's put this pizza back together again to make a whole. We got a whole pizza. Now I, have, I got, you know, three friends that I want to share this pizza with. Uh, what do I do? So same idea. We cut it right down the middle to make two equal halves, and then we're gonna cut it right down the middle of those halves to make one, two, three, four, four equal size pieces of pizza. So together, all four pieces make one whole, and we've divided it into four equal pieces. So this one piece represents one fourth because there's four possible pieces that I could have, and I just have the one. If I had two pieces, I have half the pizza, so one over two. And if I have the whole thing, I have a whole. You could also, in theory, divide it into three. And that would more, look more like a piece sign on your pizza. So you'd have three equal pieces that would be shared, and that would be a third, so one over three. I, luckily for me, have nobody here to share it with at this moment in time apart from my cat. So I'm gonna eat this whole pizza myself. But before I do, I wanna say thanks for coming. I hope this introduction to fractions helped out a little bit. And if you're liking what I do, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and recommend me to all your friends. Okay, au revoir mes amis. See you later, everybody.